YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage back on Total War Attila, and I have another special treat here for you. I got to play Prince of Macedon the other day, and hopefully I'll get to play against him more. Um, but today I played a couple of battles against the Prussian Prince, and uh, this is going to be fun. Um, I feel like that uh, in some ways I'm probably more similar to Prince of Macedon in terms of play style. Like, um, we kind of just like taking... I don't know, armies that kind of sound fun with units that we like and stuff like that. Obviously, we'll, we'll try and play to win and other stuff. Prussian Prince is more of a competitive player, and uh, I, I'm excited about playing against him because, number one, it's just fun to start testing things out. Two, he's going to give me a... Uh, he's certainly going to give me a challenge because, all things considered, he is a better um, Total War player than me. Um, so I'm excited about that. So he's going to give me a fun challenge. And then, also, it's going to be fun to see, um, you know, whenever he picks armies and stuff, he's probably not as random as I am in the way he picks them. He's probably a little more uh, deliberate about the way he picks things. So it's going to be fun for me to see what he picks, and I'm going to go ahead and jump into the battle and show you um, what we did. So I'm playing as the Vandals. These guys were kind of a risky pick because he's playing as the Eastern Romans, and the Vandals have some pretty shaky infantry. They do have access to quite a bit of cav, and I was expecting horse archers, so I actually brought a couple of dog units, um, but Prussian Prince did not bring any horse archers. Uh, and I did have one kind of fun unit I wanted to show you all. It's uh, actually hiding out here in the woods. It is um, a Jav Cab. It's a Germanic mounted brigands. And I'll talk a little bit more about these guys later. But I guerrilla deployed them over here in the forest. This map is called Swamp. Um, I've got two elite Germanic archers. The guy is clipping through the map a little bit right there. I've noticed this on a few maps. So as far as bugs go in the game, some of you have asked me if there's any bugs. This is really the most common bug I've seen. The game runs pretty smooth, and this obviously is a polished thing that needs to be handled. And again, hopefully it has been handled when the actual version releases, but just calling that out to attention in case someone from Creative Assembly does see it. There are some of these clipping issues in a few of the map. We actually saw that in Rome too as well. Um, so the army I brought, I brought a couple of pikemen just to try and ward off charges down my center um, and help protect my elite Germanic archers. Uh, my cavalry is actually mostly uh, melee cav. I've got uh, four Germanic horsemen with a couple of upgrades. These are going to be some pretty sturdy horsemen. Uh, nice balance of health, armor, uh, speed, attack, all those kind of things. Uh, definitely a solid choice. Um, they're not super elite, but again, they're a nice quality unit. I've got a couple of shock cav um, backing up my guys over here. These are some light Moorish horsemen. Um, so, cool unit here. And they are a light shock cavalry, just hoping to maybe get some rear charges with those guys. Uh, my elite Germanic archers are going to open up on Depression Prince's uh, Funda Torres. He's got these guys highly upgraded uh, it looked like, but upgrades are super cheap on this game. Uh, again, that may change when it releases, I have no idea, but right now they are super cheap, so it really, there are upgrades that can be handy. As you can see, he's got his Eastern Armored Legio, which is completely upgraded, and it only cost um, 90 talents to completely upgrade a unit. <laughs> so right now, it, it kind of makes sense. It's only 10 talents per upgrade, so you can upgrade the crud out of your units. Um, so 90 talents extra onto these Eastern Armored Legio, and it makes them a, a much more capable unit because they don't have a whole lot of um, uh, melee attack, and so it adds quite a bit. Anyway, my, my archers are doing quite a bit of damage to his uh, Funda Torres, but he's going to go into loose formation and start trading fire, and this isn't going to be great for me. Slingers don't have um, great ammunition in this game like they did in Rome 2, and I can't remember about their damage... Uh, their missile damage is 75 because he's using precision shot. I think I used mine earlier, but my missile damage is pretty high here as well. I don't know if maybe that's because I'm firing from uphill as well. I'm a little bit uphill. But anyway, I'm going to be able to trade missile fire with him for quite a while, and my archers are going to do fairly well, but his guys are very cheap, so it's still not a bad trade. The Funditores are pretty cheap and a, a great way to maybe make enemy missiles waste some of their ammo. Uh, Prussian Prince is spread wide, and I'm going to have to be careful of that. And uh, I've already brought my jab cab out over here, and I'm kind of looking around for targets. I have 44 kills because Prussian Prince didn't see it. And I hurled a bunch of jab ones into the back of this uh, Tagmata cavalry. Yeah, so, yeah, his main infantry line, though, is all Eastern Armored Legio. Uh, he's got, I think, six of them. And then he brought some Kameda Tensis spears to kind of guard his center. Uh, and he's got a lot of Tagmata cav, which is a very nice melee cav unit. Um, and he's got nice upgrades on them as well. You can see they're very superior to my own cavalry here with those upgrades. So, Prussian Prince has gone for a high quality build here, and the Roman units are, are generally pretty good quality anyway, and I've noticed that a lot of their, um, a lot of their cavalry has very nice health stats, 
Uh, yeah, I'm just over here being annoying with my Germanic mounted brigands, acting like I was going to charge his Fundatorius, trying to draw in some fire and just really helping out my archers here. Um, I'm going to talk about Javkav uh, in their current state. These guys are cool. Uh, I like what they do, and they killed 44 of his heavy cav, but I actually shot his heavy cav straight from behind with all my javelins from the horses, and that's all it killed was 44 men. Wow, look at all the flowers in the water. Everything is absolutely beautiful. Um, so in any case, yeah, I mean, it, it didn't really do much, and these guys are expensive. I'll show it to you afterwards and kind of give you my thoughts on it. Anyway, the engagement starts over here. I'm trying to kind of intercept the charges of this Eastern Armored Legio and get my uh, noble Swaby swordsman here in a combat. I guess I didn't really cover the armies too good. You will have seen them coming to the intro screen. So basically, Prussian Prince has better infantry. I've got uh, noble Swaby swordsmen, two pikemen, uh, and then I've got a couple of axe units, and then these Alani spearmen, which is a dog unit. Um, and I think I did release the hounds. Yeah, you can see my big dogs over here uh, chewing on his uh, Fundatoras. And uh, actually, uh, they're going to be getting a few kills. I released him to get rid of his skirmishers over here. Uh, it's not racking up kills. I'd like to see more kills coming off the dogs. Uh, but they are at least keeping the skirmishers from firing. And the nice thing is, is that these Alani spearmen are, are actually spears, and they can be a little handy in a fight against cavalry after you've released the dogs. Uh, but they're still pretty expensive, so you can see my my uh, Germanic Cav getting wrapped up easily by his Tagmata Cav, and then also my Germanic Warband getting smashed by his Eastern Armored Legio. So I have to bring my General in here, which is not really what I want to do. Vandal Warlord's a decent unit, but it's really not a match for this Tagmata Cav. So I am in some pretty serious trouble here. I've, my units just really aren't a good matchup against uh, what he's brought here. And I'm just going to have to do my best to get as many kills as I can. So I bring my uh, Light Moorish Horseman in to get a charge against his unbraced uh, Eastern Armored Legio. And I do get a lot of kills. But he's going to be really smart here and just come in chasing. Uh, not allowing my Shot Cav to, to cycle cleanly. So I'm going to basically lose my Light Moorish Cav, one of them, um, right here. So Prussian Prince makes good on that. But it does get my Noble Swaby Swordsman into combat. And they are throwing axes too. They have a very strong uh, axe attack that they use before they get into battle. So... Um, my guys are, are going to do pretty well in a, in a drawn-out melee, but they are outnumbered. Um, so, I mean, I am getting a fair number of kills, uh, but again, Prussian Prince outnumbers me pretty heavily, and it's, it's going to be a big challenge. So let's just kind of take a look around the fight in different places. My Skirmisher is still alive in the center. I start targeting some of his Tagmata Cav, trying to pull it down, and I'm going to use my Pikemen to kind of just push on these guys that are in the center. They're not going to be good. Pike, these are very weak Pikemen. Um, and so I'm not expecting much from them, and I have them very thin, so they're, they're not going to be super effective. Again, just trying to be annoying here more than anything. If I can kill a couple of those units, great, but I mean, these pikes are like using little tickle sticks here. They're really not going to hurt the, uh, the enemy much. Their, their stats are atrocious. So I've used up a lot of my ammunition, uh, and the Prussian Prince is trying to get to my archers, but I mean, they're, they're kind of out of ammo at this point. This one has a little bit left, but um, so I, the main reason I don't want them to die is because I don't, the power bar is already not favoring me. And you can actually mouse over it and see the man count, um, and just kind of watch the, the units dropping. It's kind of a cool feature that's in Attila as well. Um, so there's your man count. He outnumbered me by about 100 men, and he's winning by about 200 men at the moment. Um, so I am getting some, some nice kills. I mean, I've, I've killed... Uh, half his army at this point and getting some nice charges, but I've lost more than half of my army So again able to get some kills the noble Swaby swordsman uh, kind of a sturdy base of infantry that I brought and they've done well I like Moorish cab getting some decent kills uh, But as you can see this is clearly in the favor of the Prussian Prince and my general um, Is about to die uh, this Vandal Warlord can't hang on much longer. He's shaken exhausted uh, in melee and losing, you can see that his morale is already down to zero, so he's wavering. Again, another very cool feature of Attila, if, or, uh, yeah, his morale is actually down to two. Uh, it adjusts the morale on the ammunition in the battle so that you can see what the effects are, so I actually really like that. Some people seem a little bit mad that it's going to show you your enemy can see how much ammo you have, but I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Um, you know, if they want to change it later, fine. I, I get why you want to change it, but it's, it's okay. I don't really think it's a huge deal. I'm going to send in these Alani Spearmen actually ended up getting a lot of kills with the dog unit. I've got 153 kills on this one unit, so not bad at all. Uh, this unit over here has accomplished very little. Um, I don't know where their dogs ended up. I can't remember, but they haven't killed much. But uh, still, dogs are probably going to be best against very light units like skirmishers, maybe against horse archers. I'm not sure. I haven't tested them against horse archers. A lot of spearmen still getting a few kills here, even though they're vastly outnumbered. 
by these Kamita Tensei Spears. Yeah, the fight's just kind of wrapping up at this point. I'll just try and get you some close-ups. Check out the Eastern Armored Legio here, looking very sweet, surrounding my noble Swavy Swordsman. Uh, the Swavy Swordsmen have the uh, round uh, black and red shields to kind of tell them apart, but yeah. You can see the Alani Spearmen running around here chasing some enemy cab. They'll never catch them. My Swaby Swordsmen here getting rear charged, and they will die. Um, they actually fought very valiantly. Here, here's one of them with the cape and stuff, I think. Very, or no, uh, maybe that's a Roman. Yeah, that's a Roman. Here's one of my Swordsmen over here. So, very cool units, uh, but they just weren't able to pull it off. So, yep, anyway, that one's going to be a defeat for me. I will show you the other replay, though and uh, get that in your hands. Uh, so great game to Prussian Prince. Like I said, this was kind of a fun test here. He had some really high quality infantry in here and I, and I, I again, my guys did well. I got quite a few kills. Uh, the one thing that I would say to Creative Assembly, we have losses and remaining here, but it really doesn't show how many kills you got. Um, so you kind of have to do the math and that's honestly something that I suggest that they adjust. Um, I mean, I'm clicking around to make sure I'm not missing something. I, mean, I can see the individual unit kills, but I can't see my kill total. So maybe just if this were to be scooted over and you can see the general, how many deployed, how many losses, how many remaining, and then how many kills. Or just replace how many, um, like just leave out uh, losses or something because you could do quicker math there. I'd rather see my kills and that stuff, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm alone in that. Anyway, again, great, great battle depression prints. You can see his Tagmata Cav here for the most part doing very well. This is probably the one I hit with the jab ones. And I want to show you that jab cab too. I got 100 kills with them. Uh, not bad uh, for an unupgraded jab cab, but here's my problem uh, with that particular deal. And it's something that I think needs to be addressed. It's hard to say because the game hasn't released and we haven't done a ton of testing. But uh, if we go in here to the Vandals, look at the cost of javelin cavalry. So those, uh, those guys were 675 talents. That's expensive. That's very expensive, in fact. Um, and if you look at what these guys do, they're really a scout cavalry. Uh, it says excellent rate of fire and capture power. That's for like capturing buildings or whatever else it is, capture points, which doesn't really do anything in multiplayer. 675 talents. I unloaded all my javelins into the back of one Tagmata Cav that was upgraded all the way. So let's take a look. So that was 890 talents and didn't even kill it. Um, so, it, I mean, it's hard to say that that was cost effective. I don't feel like it was. So I just killed them and a few Fundatores, which are very cheap, um, only 200 talents. So I don't see how you're really going to be able to make the Javelin Cav um, cost effective. Uh, it's just, yeah, I just don't see it. This unit can move around the campaign map without being seen. Interesting. I wonder how that plays in. Guerrilla deployment, all that stuff's cool. No Parthian shot either. Um, it says it can snipe also. I don't see how that's really going to come into play though because the range is very limited. Um, I'll pull it up and see if we can see the range. You can't see it on these stats here, but if you can get the encyclopedia to open, it is unfinished. Um, so it's not entirely there, but it is going to open. So their missile range... Let's see... Where's the range? Range, range, range. 80. So it says they can snipe, but from, from 80 range? I don't know how that's going to play in either. Um, so again, it, it's a cool cav unit. I like the idea, um, but it just, they seem overpriced. 800 for Germanic Night Raiders. Now again, very cool unit. They even have Rapid Advance. And rapid Advance doesn't suck in Attila, so that's cool. And they even have Precision Shot. So this unit is very nice, but um, it's going to be a huge limiting factor. that They only have seven Javelins, and that's just not enough to do a ton of damage, even against cavalry, because... You think about this Tagmata Cav that I'm over here trying to fight, the thing has 230 health. Um, it's going to take a lot of Javelins just to cut through their health. Um, so I don't really see that being particularly useful at that price. So again, the game isn't out. I can't say this for sure. I'm just saying, you know, that I'd like to see, and th these guys do have a bunch of other stuff. May set buildings on fire, that's cool. Gorilla deployment, ignore terrain, that's cool. Speed penalties caused by terrain are ignored by this unit. So I like the idea. I like the things that they're adding onto the scout cavalry to really give them that kind of scouting feel. I just, again, I'm, I'm questioning the price. If you think I'm wrong, that's fine. Again, haven't been able to test this on a large scale, so we'll get a feel for it. But it, it is something that kind of concerns me. I mean, at the very least, maybe you could increase the armor piercing damage 
coming off these guys to make them a little a little more useful. But uh, I'm just worried at this price range that the Jav Cav won't be very worth uh, worthwhile. But we'll see. Again, there may be something that's uh, planned in the game that I just don't understand yet. Hope you all enjoyed the battle. Air of Carthage, signing off.